Hello everyone, welcome to the Pizza Benders Academy playthrough of Quest for Glory 2. As a thief, I am Gonf, and I'm joined, as ever, by my colleagues, Zombong, Penny, and Anita. And we are going to get started here. I've just imported my character, and uh, now I really need to give him some boosts to some stats, because I did not level him up as much as I should have in the previous game, and he's going to have a rough time of it. Look at that cute weapon you stat. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see, what should I put points into here? Still mostly better than the default sleep. Start starting thief for when you start a new game. True, important. true. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. So I think uh, I'm going to dump points mostly into the stuff that's the hardest to train, because a lot of these... You can get up to doable levels, so we'll go ahead and pump intelligence. We can't put points in communication, which is very annoying, because you really need it. Bit of luck here, but let's go for end. And let's get this show on the road. Now, I'm a, an old school person, so it's going to be classic, but I'm not super, super old school, so we're going to with the point-and-click interface. And on that, the parser, of course, is more closer to the original game so normally I might consider doing that but since this is for fun and since we've already kinda messed with the parser a little bit and we're going to do more of that we'll just go with this is it not amazing how quickly we have set up this inn? the Kata's tail is already the center for Shapiro's entertainment where else can you watch Shima dance? you know you will always have a place to stay and find food to eat in Shapir Shamin Shima and I cannot thank you enough for helping us recover our stolen treasure. It is good to be back home, even though I have had troubling news. My old friend Aros al Din, the Emir of Razir, is missing. He was a good man, but not as wise as I. Ah, but you have not even seen our beautiful Shapir, and already I speak of problems. You need to go out, explore, and discover why this is indeed a land of enchantment. Well... He's the same old dramatic self. Yeah, I know, right? Sorry, my mouse is acting up a little bit here. Uh, hello. Good day, my fine friend! I trust you are finding your stay in Shapir interesting! There is always so much to see and do here! Yeah, I like talking to you. <laughs> Hi, Abdullah. I am Abdullah Du. It is an old family name. It's interesting that when you ask him about himself, that's what it gives you. <laughs> well, what's what else is I have heard that Razir has become a grim and unpleasant place to be now that my good friend Aros is no longer the Emir. <laughs> I have heard that in Razir they now forbid people to speak to one another. How can one live in such a way? Good question. Yeah. The land of Shapir may be plagued with elementals and jinns, but this city will ever stand. As long as there are heroes such as yourself. And then when we leave? <laughs> a place to relax, to talk to friends, to eat and drink, to watch entertainment. What better place to be? Let's talk about the food, yeah. Shima's cooking is fantastic and her tea is heavenly. Truly, the kata are friends beyond measure. That's what makes friends beyond measure, huh? They feed you. You gotta have your priorities straight. Why, the very plazas of our city are a thriving marketplace. Thieves' Guild? What need have you for thieves? There is no such guild in this fair city. Really? Of course not. Bummer. Mm -hmm. Jinn are magical beings, huge monstrous creatures of power capable of tearing a man limb from limb. Although I have never personally experienced this. Being torn limb from limb? <laughs> yeah. My Uncle Fred was torn limb from limb once. <laughs> I know your Uncle Fred. He's alive and well. Well, he had a miraculous recovery. Sorry, we're getting ahead of ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> the Kata make great neighbors and friends, and Shamina and Shab Shima are the finest of Katas. You can say the same thing if Shamina were right there. <laughs> of course I would! Like a cat, Shamin lends upon his paws wherever he goes. This inn is the oasis of culture for Shapir. Oops. Ah, the enchanting Shima. Her dance must be seen to be savored. If you know what I mean. 
let's see. The desert is full of perils for the unwary, and only brave men or fools dare go there. I used to travel through the desert often. No, she was. <laughs> Obviously brave. I have fought many monsters in my travels through the desert. <laughs> no elaboration there. Rosier and Shapir were sister cities, separated by the sands of the desert. Now it is said that the fountain of Rosier runs no more, and that the city's soul has shriveled like a grape in the sun. Aros was the kindest of men, quick to hug you and call you brother. But I must admit he was not very brave. I've never seen something. He was not brave Oops. or what? He was a generous and friendly man, and Razir was a place worth living. Now Aros is lost. His brother sits on his throne, and Razir stagnates. Hmm. If you had not returned our stolen carpet and treasures, I would still be sitting there, wasting away to a mere shadow of myself. Remind me about this carpet thing, because I've totally forgotten it. We did not do the intro this time. I have given the carpet to the Sultan, and in return he has made me wealthy beyond even my dreams. There is no greater treasure than friendship. That would be so sweet if it were coming from someone a little less greedy. If I had not fought off so many in the Battle of Spielberg Pass, perhaps you would not have made it through the brigand lair, my friend. <laughs> Gee. Ever humble. Don't we love him? Yeah. Alright, enough of that. I'm not gonna say goodbye. <laughs> You're so rude! What I am going to do is start sneaking. This will make things go even slower. Yeah, so I'll crank the game speed up. Like, Thieves all the way. have the slowest game in many regards because they have to sneak so much. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't help a lot, does it? <laughs> I don't know. I should mean. You are most we honored by your presence in our inn here or Spielberg. I still don't know your name, even though you are like my friend when we are indebted to you and all that. Yeah. I should mean. What about you? You mean in my the tongue of my kindred means he of the lion. I like how they all tell you about their names when you ask them about themselves. Much happens in Jupiter. What would you have me tell you, Hera friend? I have heard that the armies of the Sultan sent to Rajir were destroyed by a great wind. Indeed. I'm getting bad vibes about Rajir. This is, city is but an island of beauty amidst the shifting sands and the timeless mountains. This is truly what an inn should be. The center of all, with Shima to dance and the poet Omar to entertain, and there will always be something of interest here. There is none in all Shapir to compare with my beautiful, wondrous mate. When Shima dances, fire will awaken, at least for Kata. Oh my. Poetry is revered in this land. The words of the poet Mar speaks are both in the heart and in the mind. The plaza, the fountain, and the other plazas, the cotton merchants set up their shops. Katas are fine sellers of many things, for they know the true value of wealth. To be truly wealthy, you must learn what it is to be content. Yeah, sure. True Whatever. wisdom from the mouth of cats. <laughs> <laughs> you guys what we're now. The pathway to the fountain is north of our plaza. We are a little people and few, but like grains of sand, we will always be long in the desert. Right. Tell me about this desert, since you... Sands that change color with the time of the day. The desert is dear to our people. However, it is best viewed at night. It is hard to survive in the heat of the sun. But I heard something about monsters. There are many creatures in the desert who would seek to harm you. Mm. 
okay. Yeah. I like that how they're also useful. specific about that. That city used to be but a mirror of Shapir. Now it is said that it is a f- foreshadow of what is to come. Um, I don't like the sound of that. It is not good to speak of evil, but there is much of it in Rajir. Yeah, we're getting the idea for some reason. We generally just be able to bring back a hero. Okay. Well, that was helpful. Yeah. yeah. So. Bye. Farewell, hero. Can I turn the speed all the way up? I'm not sure it'll affect your walking speed. Yeah. You're a bit sluggish from what, when sneaking. This is why it takes thieves longer to do anything. Although not as slow as you are when you're overloaded. You, stranger! You just didn't look! I got everything you need right here! You need a map? I got a map! You need a compass? I got a compass! You need a souvenirs of Shapir for friends and relatives? I got the best souvenirs in town! Well, hello. You look like such a fine person. Have I got a deal for you? Special today only, I said, let you a genuine and made in Japan glow and dark turban, which says, My father went to Shapir and all he brought me was. But uh, maybe you got no kids. Then what you want is what I got right here a Shapir in a bottle. You shake it and you see Shapir in a sandstorm. I sell it to, just to you for only twice of what it's worth. Um. I'm getting a feeling about this guy. Hey boss, you come to the right place here. My name is Ali Chica, and you find yourself with the finest souvenir stand in all of Shapir. As far as we know, it's the only one, but. Uh, there are others, but are you see a lot of business. You place your thumb upon your nose with the hand held perpendicular to the face and the fingers outspread. You then wiggle your fingers while focusing your eyes on the thumb and patting your belly with the other hand. We don't show any of that here in order not to embarrass those people with tender sensibilities. <laughs> nope, sorry boss, I'm allowed to enter itch cream today. Maybe you should leave on my stand now so I don't catch up what you have. Okay, what? he's not a thief. <laughs> yeah. My name, he is Ali Chica. You gonna ask me questions or you're gonna buy what I sell? I know make a living off of answers. I heard that there was a stranger in town who asked a lot of questions. Hmm, what haven't I heard of that guy? I sell you what you need. What more can you want? How are you gonna find it yourself with no map? I sell you one cheap, only a hundred cent times. Special edition today says uh, you are here with a bigger X. With a compass, you always know which way you're going. How many people you meet know that? I give you a compass. It only costs a hundred cent times. This is fine. A souvenir stand in town. I personally guarantee it. This is also only souvenir stand in town. You need a souvenirs, I got them. How about a pair of glow in the dark socks of Shapir? This way you no lose your feet at night. That's a lot of concern. The price of the map is a hundred cent times. The price of the compass is a hundred cent times. This is a nicer town, a nicer land. You need my map to find it. What? <laughs> Yeah, sure. Yeah. The way to the fountain, take the road to Nuptarik. Keep going till you get wet. Then you find the fountain. That's helpful. I think I might like to stop before I get wet. Isn't that where you take a d- ice cream and put a whipped cream and a fudge on top? No. Mm-hmm. I understand the sightseeing business is not too good there. Yeah. Yeah, we sort of figured that out. Well... Hey! It's clone women! <laughs> How many of them? <laughs> no, they're just dressed exactly the same. It's the fashion. Yeah. 